All right, welcome back to this month's edition of what we're no longer going to be calling Pimp My Ride. Uh, but I'm at my friend Matt McClellan's house, and he's got the ultimate adventure vehicle. Uh, you saw Daryl's last month, and that's crazy cool. It's kind of the Wayback Machine. This is the, the more modern what you want to do now because it's going to get you there. And you know it's going to get you back because everything works, and it's all new. And my friend Matt... I don't want to say you're a nerd about all this stuff, but he's a nerd about all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so he's taken a Mercedes Sprinter van and totally tricked it up. It's the coolest thing ever. He's driven it to and from Jackson Hole three or four times, to and from California to JH twice. Um, it's been everywhere, and you know his his wife doesn't want to drive cross country, so he just does. And when he gets tired, he pulls over and crawls in the back and goes to sleep. So Matt. Tell us a little bit about your van, what you've done with it, and what you yeah. plan Yeah, no, thanks. It's a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel drive. Uh, there's three versions of this. This is the smallest one. Um, it's It's been a labor of love, right? I mean, it's taken a long time to finally get it to where it is. But I started building this out in early 2018, and there weren't a whole lot of vans that were done at the time. Now it's sort of a little business, and there's there's things that you can buy off the shelf from Winnebago, but this is all home built. So um, I got all the basics, a bed, a fridge, power, water, um, a portable toilet, and what else do you need? A place yeah. to put your fly rods. <laughs> for me, a place to put my hang glider. Yeah, that's one thing you don't have. A place to put your camping gear. Rod, there's a box on top for a place to put your skis. So um, I have a heater that runs when the van is parked. Um, it runs off of fuel from the diesel tank, electricity from the battery. I do not have an air conditioner. Everything you do in a van is a trade-off. If you choose to put something, there's a trade-off in size, size and weight. So an air conditioner is something I chose not to do. A shower, an indoor shower, is something that I chose not to do. Um, come in a little bit closer, I'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> This is a massive battery. I won't bore you with the specifics, but it's enough to run the van off grid for a week, for a week at a time. There's a solar panel on the top. It charges off the alternator and the battery. We've got water in here. I've got a sink in here. I've got a refrigerator here. I've got a bed here. The bed actually slides out. We sleep in this direction because my wife and I are both six feet tall microwave, storage, windows, a vent that's powered in the top so I can crack the windows, turn on the vent at night, and create a little bit of an air chamber through here. I walk you around to the back. A box for all your stinky mountain biking clothes and garbage so you don't have to put it inside the van. A little bit extra diesel fuel for when you're out in Wyoming and diesel fuel is sometimes hard to, hard to find. Yeah. Um, Storage boxes with everything from towing gear, air compressors, <laughs> electric chainsaw, vacuum cleaner, Eno hammocks, tools, cooking equipment, everything you need to cook um, after a long day on the trail or out on the river, starter logs, mosquito equipment, you know, things to take showers with. Um, it's all right here. Camp chairs. It's taken a while to get it dialed in. This is a ladder? A ladder okay. which we actually used a few weeks ago when we were coming down a trail there's a tree down we had to use the ladder to get up in the tree with the electric chainsaw to clear the trail okay um, one last thing I'll show you here got the tire on the back got a ladder on the side to access the Thule box which is where the skis and the lesser used equipment lives so that um, lives there year-round to keep the skis up there just to keep it out of the house Oh, no, 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 the skis don't live in there. Just the box stays there. Okay. Okay, okay. Another thing I did is I upgraded the fuel tank. It's by default. Remember, these things were designed to carry cargo, Amazon boxes, things like that. So the gas tank was only 26 gallons, which when you get 14, 15 miles a gallon, is not very big. Yeah, no kidding. So I've got a 50 gallon tank on here now, which allows me to go for six, 700 miles without yeah. having any fuel. Aftermarket suspension, this thing is almost 11 feet tall, so when you're going up and down a mountain, there's a lot of sway back and forth. Suspension stiffens that up. Also, when you're on forest service roads, mm -hmm. you can adjust the settings on it so it doesn't quite bump so much. Um, you can see it down there, big red button to adjust it between soft and hard. 
But you've got one thing you got to remember: diesel only. <laughs> Had to put a big sticker on here. I almost messed up and put regular gasoline in here. Oh uh, yeah. Come around to the front. We'll see one last piece. Two um, things. You got spray painted the hood. Spray. Well, we've got a bed liner from a truck on the hood and all along the lower part of the van. We've got an aftermarket bumper. This was necessary for two reasons. The biggest one is it looks cool, right? Yeah, you got to do that. Yeah, yeah. More importantly, the original one was plastic, and when you're driving around out west, pretty good chance you could run into something that's darting across the road. Yeah. Um, so um, you, I've seen a lot of pictures of front ends that were destroyed just hitting a deer not that fast. Yeah. Uh, winch. I've actually used this several times. It's not a fake winch. It's a real winch. <laughs> so the winch has actually been used. Okay. Some guy tried to pay me to pull him out. I chose not to take anything other than six pack there you go we had, to, we had to settle on something and that okay. was it uh one last thing on this side there's an awning on the top which you know when i'm camped out for a few days you can take a thing stick it up in there and it sticks out so you've got shade to sit under and there you have it awesome. awesome if you want to see more pictures you can follow it on instagram at chad the van Chad the Van. Chad the Van on Instagram, right next to Stripling and Company. Right next to two great Chattanooga companies. Two great Chattanooga companies. <laughs> Yours right. makes money, mine doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yours spends a lot of money, though, in mine a good way. Mine spends a lot of money, it does. Um, all right, so that's uh, Matt's van this month. Um, this is a long video, so we may have to divide this in parts if you want to see the second part of it. Um, we'll have a link on the, on the uh, email. Um, next time, or maybe next time, but soon, we'll, the next one will be on what we like to refer to as the Garage Mahal, which is uh, Matt's uh, garage, which is like his van, only it exploded. So even better. So that's it for this week. Thanks very much, guys. See y'all next time.